Welcome to the Ecolistic Living Podcast. I'm your host, Sandra Campillo, a certified holistic nutrition and natural health practitioner and former meat eater turned vegan for 11 years now. After learning the truth about our food system and the animals, I experienced healing on so many levels. I started living what I learned, and now I want to help you do the same. So if you're ready to live your life to the fullest and experience your own healing transformation, then you, my friend, are in the right place. Because living your best life, that is what Ecolistic Living is all about. So grab yourself a fruit smoothie, plug in those ears, and let's get started. In today's episode, we're going to break down the differences between the three of the most common lifestyles, vegan, plant-based, and vegetarian. I understand it can be confusing, and if you're serious about a transition, you'll probably want to get it right from the start. But please don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake. It happens. And if you're listening to this, that means you're willing to learn. So you're already off to a great start. Okay, so let's start with the vegan lifestyle. So to clarify, living vegan is more than just a diet. It's a lifestyle rooted in compassion and ethical principles. It's about nothing else but the animals. Bottom line, and just to reiterate, because some people get this one confused, the primary reason for living vegan is driven by the animals, not nutrition. They avoid supporting any industry that harms, uses, or exploits animals in any way, whether it be food, cosmetics, clothing, or entertainment. When it comes to food, it excludes all animal products and byproducts, including meat, chicken, fish, dairy, eggs, honey, and gelatin. Which means as a vegan, you would eat a diet consisting of a wide variety of foods made up of fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. But keep in mind, though, that just like the standard American diet, vegan foods can also be highly processed and bad for you. So if you're transitioning to a vegan lifestyle, it's important to eat clean, organic when possible, plant-derived whole foods, if you want to keep it healthy. Barnivore is a great site to use for reference checking wine and beer to see if they're clear of animal products. It'll tell you if it's vegan or vegetarian, which is really cool. I'll add the link in the description for you so you can try it out. Some white sugars are also filtered using animal parts and are often referred to as bone char, which is made from the charred bones of animals. They use it to whiten the sugar and remove impurities. Pretty gross if you ask me. I would suggest sticking to coconut, date, or monk fruit sugar if you want to use sugar. Vegans also typically avoid using animal-derived products in other areas of their lives, such as clothing, cosmetics, and household items. They don't wear leather, fur, silk, or wool, nor use it in anything else. I have a video on YouTube that talks about how silk is made if you want to give it a watch. I'll link that in the description for you as well. At the end of the day, being vegan is all in support of the animals. Okay, moving on to a plant-based lifestyle. Living plant-based shares some similarities with veganism, but is mainly focused on nutritional dietary choices rather than the ethical aspect. So it's more about a diet versus a lifestyle. However, as you progress, you may eventually evolve into a more holistic way of life as a result of creating healthier habits. That's if you allow yourself to shift your focus toward adopting a healthy lifestyle as a whole, mind, body, and spirit. Other than that, a plant-based diet generally revolves around whole, minimally processed plant foods consisting of fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Unlike veganism, which excludes all animal products, plant-based eating allows for some flexibility, and individuals may occasionally consume small amounts of animal products or byproducts. This may also include honey. The main focus here is on nourishing the body with nutrient-dense plant foods for health and well-being. The reason many people choose to go with a plant-based diet is for its potential health benefits, including reduced risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. But remember, this is a journey. So while you might start out as plant-based and doing it for health, again, that could change as you progress. With me, it started being about health. So I began my journey with raw plant-based nutrition, which then led to a deeper connection within mind, body, and spirit. As I continued on this path, it connected me to learning about the impact eating animal flesh has on the animals. And then I learned how animal agriculture negatively affects the environment. It then became more than just about health. It became about everything for me. So you see, it's all interconnected. The more you learn, the more you shift. And last but not least, let's talk about a vegetarian lifestyle. Vegetarianism is typically the starting point for a lot of people. It's not an all-in type of lifestyle, but at the same time, it allows you to make some impactful changes. It also paves the way to a vegan lifestyle. 
And those who already know they want to live vegan and animal free completely, but are not ready to fully dive in yet, become vegetarian first to help them with the transition. So what does it mean to be vegetarian? A vegetarian lifestyle is one that does not include the consumption of any animal, including farmed animals like chickens, pigs, and cows. It also means they don't eat fish or other sea animals. However, it may still include other animal-derived products like dairy and eggs. There are several reasons why vegetarians choose this route. It could be for health, the environment, or the animals. As a vegetarian, the focus is more on food rather than all other aspects, such as clothing, cosmetics, and animal exploitation. But again, this is a journey, so where you start is not always where you end up. The majority of vegans start out as vegetarians, or even plant-based. There's only one person I know who was born vegan, which means she was born into a vegan family and raised vegan. Her name is Serena Farb. I'm sure there are others, but I've had the pleasure to meet Serena personally, and she's an amazing animal activist and speaker. Another one I highly admire is Nimai Delgado. He's a vegan fitness trainer who has been vegetarian since birth up until 2015, when he transitioned to a 100% vegan lifestyle. If you want to learn more about him and Serena, I'll link both of their Instagram accounts in the description for you. I highly recommend checking them out. They have a lot of good content. I'm sure there are more and will be as we go further into the future, but it's definitely not the standard coming from the past. And with that, I'll leave you with this quote from Edgar's mission to ponder on. If we could all live happy and healthy lives without harming others, why wouldn't we? Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ecolistic Living. I hope this breakdown of all three lifestyles has brought you clarity and less confusion. Whether you choose to embrace veganism for ethical principles, adopt a plant-based diet for its health benefits, or follow a vegetarian diet for personal reasons, the important thing is to make choices that are morally sound and support your well-being. Stay tuned for next week's episode where I will be addressing the mother of all questions to plant eaters, where do you get your protein? We'll be discussing healthy protein sources and how you can get more than enough of it on a plant-based diet. If you're not already subscribed to my online community of insiders, I've provided a link in the description so you can sign up. This way you can get all new episodes and more sent straight to your inbox. If you found great value in this episode, please take a moment to provide a five-star rating and review on Apple or wherever it is you're listening. It won't take long and it will also help others to find me. It will also allow me to create and upload more episodes that I am sure will serve and inspire you in some way. If you're listening on YouTube, leave a comment below and let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button while you're at it so you can be alerted each time a new episode is uploaded. And be sure to share with family and friends. You never know who you might be helping in the process. Have a great week, my friend, and I'll see you next time on Ecolistic Living.